In my last video about the need to fight for and to preserve free expression, um, and in which I went into its value, some raised to me the point of harm being a valid, indeed the only valid, reason by which to constrict speech. This idea, of course, comes from John Stuart Mill's formulation of the harm principle, that being, the only purpose for which power can be rightfully exercised over any member of a civilised community against his will is to prevent harm to others. Some libertarians take that to extremes, while some statists also take that to extremes, both using it to justify their arguments. So how can that be? Well, there's two kinds of freedom. There's freedom from and freedom to, and the two often impact on each other. My freedom to drive my car, freedom to, is limited by licensing, insurance and other factors in order to ensure that others have freedom from bad driving, dangerous driving, and the costs associated with any bad actions while I'm behind the wheel. It is rightly pointed out that the social censors, who want to do away with disagreements, sexual depictions, depictions of horror, depictions of violence, and anything else you care to mention, also invoke this harm principle in support of their ideas and to justify their censorship. At the moment, that typically manifests in the form of this harms women. The OED defines harm as physical injury, especially that which is deliberately inflicted, material damage, and actual or potential ill effects or danger. The majority then, the most serious, is that which causes actual, material, real, physical harm. A punch to your face is harm, calling you a doody head is not. It gets a bit more vague uh, when you get to the third point, talking about and talking about things like false advertising or reputational damage in cases of libel or slander is a bit more up for debate. But in general, we're talking about real harm in a physical sense, not mean words as the result of free expression. As luck would have it, a perfect case to illustrate this point came up yesterday after I put out my free speech video. The Electronic Frontier Foundation put out a release about a global coalition going to Facebook to complain about their authentic names policy, something which has been controversial on other platforms like Google Plus as well. The thrust of it is that Facebook's policy, ostensibly to do with protecting women and minorities from online abuse, has had the result of causing genuine harm to women and minorities in the real and physical sense. It has outed transgender and gay people to their friends and family, leading to their persecution, leading to them being thrown out of their homes, even beaten, and placed in danger. It has endangered the lives of political dissidents, and has made it far easier for people to be stalked and harassed in real life. Of particular note here are domestic abuse survivors of both sexes. Facebook has made it much easier to stalk and find them. Laxer naming policies and account verification will necessarily mean more spam and more trolling, but this is merely annoying. This is just words on a screen. This is not harm. It is avoidable, blockable, ignorable. Real problems, real harm, is just that. Real and identifiable. To anyone with a sensible head on their shoulders. And this is what I mean by harm.